Fellow Toastmasters, Mr. Chair. Well, I'm doing an icebreaker again. And you start a path, they start with, uh, not a path, uh, yes, a path, a new path, which I'm starting, strategic relationships, you always start with an icebreaker. So because it has to do with strategic relationships, as Dan pointed out in his introduction, I thought I would talk about the fourth habit of highly effective people from the seven habits of highly effective people called think win win because it has to do with uh, how to deal with other people relationships so give you a little bit of background in 1988 i left a, a career in underground mining to become an insurance salesperson so when you're in sales you soon become indoctrinated in positive thinking, self-help, motivational books. And of course, I read those voraciously. And I really hooked on to Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, so much so that I not only read that book, but I read several of his other books. I even took the course, I became certified to teach Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and particularly the First Things First part of it. So, in a four to six minute speech, I obviously can't go into a lot of details, so I'll summarize by saying the first three habits are basically take you from dependence to independence. So independence could be called a relationship with yourself. And until you have a healthy relationship with yourself and you're truly independent, you really can't have a healthy relationship with other people. Then the next three habits are about interdependence. Interdependence is your relationship with other people. You're not dependent on them and they're not dependent on you. They're interdependent. And the first uh, of those three, which is the fourth, is think win-win. So what's meant by think win-win? It means when you first start going into a relationship, you come into it with a certain frame of mind. And the idea is that a, you're not trying to take advantage of anyone, which would be win-lose, but neither do you want to be a martyr, which would be lose-win. What you want to do is you want to find a way that benefits both of you. And when you're doing that, you start off with the right frame of mind. So whether you're a salesperson, you're not saying, how can I get this person's money from them? You're saying, how can I bring this person value so that they'll want to do business with me and I'll benefit as a result of making a sale. They'll benefit because I brought them something of value. So there's another thing too, it's called win-win or no deal. Because in certain relationships, win-win is simply not possible. You may be dealing with a person who's operating from the framework of win-lose where they're trying to take advantage of you. In which case it's, uh, healthy and necessary to simply say, uh, we just need to move on. So then later on, uh, the next habit, which I'll touch on is seek first to understand, and then seek to be understood. So that means once you've decided that you want to go into it with a win win relationship, then you have to find out what the win means for that person, because you can't guess that. And the person won't care much about what you have to say until they feel understood. If they don't feel understood, they're like a person suffocating in a room who will not care about what anything that you have to say until they have air to breathe. Well, being understood has been called psychological air. Going back to win-win, interestingly, later on, I discovered the writings of Ayn Rand. And Ayn Rand has a little bit of a twist on it, but really, it really comes down to win-win. One of her credos is, I swear by my life and my love of it that I will never live my life for the sake of another man, nor ask another man to live for mine. In other words, I won't sacrifice myself to others. I won't sacrifice others to myself. That is win-win. So if you go into a relationship, with the idea of win-win, you take the time to fully understand the person so you can find out what a win is for them. Then the next step, step number six, is synergize. 
synergize as opposed to what we often hear as compromise. People will say in relationships, if you have to make it work, you need to compromise. Well, compromise is one plus one equals one and a half. In other words, you don't really get what you want. I don't really get what I want. We compromise. Synergize means that we get creative and we look at your win and my win and we come up with a third way that's even better than either of the ones we started with because we've gotten in with a win-win relationship. We've listened to each other and now we can get creative. So my call to action to all of you is in all your relationships, synergize. Start with thinking win-win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, and finally synergize and come up with not one plus one and one is one and a half, but one plus one equals three or 300 or 3000. With that, I will leave you and I thank you very much for your attention, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Richard. That was really good. Uh, could we have two minutes, please, to complete the evaluations?